the number three scorer in the league. Uh, especially, he earned the confidence going into the final round. So, 12 points for Har- Harvey. Uh, 11 from attacks. And uh, again, ito si Harvey. What a way to go. And I don't expect him coming out in this game. For those of you who just tuned in, by the way, this is going to be a best of three for both the That's men's right. and women's division. Now, let's find out uh, what the mindset is of Harvey, Ilano, and I guess the rest of the Tigers as he earlier had a chat with our Patch Kansana. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm with Harvey Elano from the USD Growling Tigers. Good afternoon, Harvey. Uh, good afternoon. Kamusta ka? Uh, okay na. Okay. Huling beses ninyo nakalaban ng FEU nung Season 70 at alam nating lahat na kayo ang nag-champion nun. At ngayon na sila na naman ang makakatapat ninyo, ano ang maaasahan ng lahat from the Growling Tigers para matalo niyo ulit sila? Siyempre, una sa lahat yung ano, puso, puso ng champion. Siyempre, hindi makawala yun. At uh, sa papakita namin yung the best namin kasi ito na yung pinakahihintay namin. Uh, championship na. Last na to. Wala nang sunod. So, yun. For three consecutive years na kayo pumapasok sa finals at nung elimination round, FEU lang ang nakatalo sa inyo. Ano ang plano ninyo para mag consistent yung intensity ng laro nyo all throughout the finals? Siyempre, uh, enjoy namin yung game kasi ito na nga yung last, di ba? So, parang ibibigay na talaga namin yung the best. So, tapos yun, ito na nga yung pinagandaan namin. So, ito, papakita na namin yung, ano, yung the best namin para sa game na to. Thank you, Harvey, and good luck. You heard it straight from Harvey Alano from the USD Growling Tigers. Thank you, Patch Kansana. Harvey Ilano and the Tigers do plan to enjoy it. I guess that's a big factor. If you start to enjoy the game, it comes more naturally to you and you feel more comfortable playing, you know, your game and uh, your, your, the complex plays that you have as a team. And you know, last month, they was able to see their practice. Alam mo, they were just running through the place. Actually, it was a sort of a game. It wasn't really the usual practice that you see. So it's all mental preparation, really, for USD. All right. Now, let's uh, shift our focus to... Eastern University and the Tamaraos with their military military style practice have brought them into the finals yet again one of the winningest universities in volleyball history and take a look at the final four matchup between the number two seeds FEU and the number three seeds Ateneo. Well uh, in that semi-finals game Ateneo looked good at, at, on the start at the game but uh, you know the championship experience of FEU just proved to be much more of an advantage for them after losing the first set as you can see they were uh, no looking back for the Tamaros and won straight sets after that and uh, was able to win it at four and uh, as you can see here 12 more points spike points for FEU in that game and four more blocks and uh, even if FEU committed 32 errors Ateneo also committed 28 of their own yeah parang halos na even out lang uh, it wasn't enough for Ateneo to at least stay in that game now with the departure of one of the best players of FEU in Ejet Mabaya in season 70, FEU really faltered in season 71. They did not make it to the final four, but this year they've developed a young, spectacular, and exhilarating player to watch, Nestor the Terror Molate. And he is a pleasure to watch as well for big volleyball fans. And here are uh, some of the numbers of, uh, of Nestor Molate this season for FEU. And you know, it, you are so right, Eric. In the game, in that game, Nestor Molate showed us his versatility. He was not only there for all offense, but also an all-around player for floor defense and five points sa blocks and the yun nga 16 from attacks and two from the serve. It's just an all-around player. All-around, all-around player. Now, the terror had a chat with our Eric Torrejon earlier. Let's listen in. I'm here now with Nestor Molate of the FU Tamaros. So, Nestor, ikaw ang nagdala sa team mo laban ng Ateneo para makarating kayo ngayon sa finals. Anong skills at mindset ang kailangan mong dalhin ngayon dahil USD naman ang kalaban nyo? Uh, siguro sa, sa defense at saka sa palo and then sa black po. Yan. Saka sa service receipt po namin. Yeah. Uh. At last time na nasa finals kayo was two years ago pa. So anong mga preparations ang ginawa nyo as a team sa training at pati na rin sa labas ng training? Uh, yung ano po, yung physical conditioning po namin. Sa kanina po, nagdasal po kami sa Kia Food Search na sana po mag-champion kami. Sa gusto po talaga namin na ano, makuha namin yung championship ko ngayon. Thank you, Nestor, and good luck. There you have it, Nestor Molate of the FU Tamaraos. Thank you, Aaron Torrejon. Looking for their 25th 
championship as a university while USC is looking for their 17th. Wow. You know, a lot of championship history between these two squads. And, uh, alam mo, during my time, it was really uh, FEU and the USC yes, the men's division. And as it was back in the day, so it is right now. Game one of the best of three between Far Eastern University Tamaraus and the University of Santo Tomas Growling Tigers, who are ranked number one and number two, respectively. One of the most uh, one of one of the reasons why the men's division is so exhilarating, so exciting to watch, and so action-packed, especially this matchup. It, it's going to be all that and more, is because the top four scorers of the league. Is, it will be That's on the court right. today. Number That's one and two, Mestor Molate and Joshua Alcarte of um, FEU. And number three and four is Harvey Ilano and Henry Pecania of USD. So expect not just fireworks today. <laughs> and expect number 